Taurus, welcome to what's happening with the X for the week of February 20th. This is where we're going to take a look at what is currently going on in your ex-partner's life, how they are thinking, feeling, what they're doing, anything we can capture through this reading just to get an idea of what's going on. And as a bonus for you in this reading, I will also let you know what their hopes and fears are. And then we'll continue the reading on Vimeo to find out what's blocking them and uh, where they're headed to in the near future. So we have the Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups is talking about creating a special union with someone. This is the soulmate card in the tarot. This is them actually realizing a union, a special union. They're thinking about this. The Four of Wands is putting themselves in order in um, creating a solid foundation within their own self. This is being in balance. Four of Wands is the foundation to set a future relationship on, but it's also about them within. And the Ten of Cups is the happy home, happy life. We have a clarifier of the Hermit card, which is actually saying right now your partner is coming to the realization that you, they've met their soulmate, okay? They are realizing they have met their soulmate. And for many of you, it is you. You are the soulmate. The Four of Wands is them considering creating a foundation, not only within themselves, okay? This is about them looking into the future. Do I want to create a foundation, a relationship with my soulmate? This is internal, going in internally. This is the internal compass, where our wisdom comes from. So all of our life lessons comes from our intuition. This is being guided from above to really take a look at this situation. So they are coming into an awareness that you are their soulmate or they have met their soulmate and they are contemplating, do I or do I not create a foundation? Do I want the 10 of cups with this person? Do I want this relationship? And <clears throat> this is a really good place for your ex to be in at this time. A really good place. So they've gone through a lot of healing. And as we go through the healing, when we meet our soulmate, it triggers us to look back and heal old wounds that have prevented us from moving forward in other relationships, prevented us from actually getting the relationship results that we want. They come into a negative aspect because the wounding wasn't healed. They've gone through their wounding, they've healed it. And as we heal, when, after we've met our soulmate on this journey, we start becoming aware of who that person was, the person that triggered us, that we get mad at. You have that great connection, boom, you have to do your healing of heart. Those of you who aren't sure, you can look at the soulmate journey that gives you a little bit more depth. But this is about the ex-partner. For some, this is a soulmate that you're dealing with. For others, this is creating a beautiful relationship. They are in a place of contemplation, figuring it out. Do I or don't I want to move forward? And now I want to see what their hopes and fears are for you. Okay, we have the Ten of Swords and the Moon card. So... The Ten of Swords is an ending, a very, very painful ending between the two of you when you were together. This is also indication of all the wounding that they may have done to you or and or what you may have done to them. It was a very, very difficult ending. It hurt both of you deeply. Now, the Moon card is about secrets. 
it's about being intuitively guided through our dreams. It also can indicate fear. So what I'm getting psychically is that your ex is actually hoping to release the pain on your end, okay? Whatever they were hiding as a secret or you were hiding, they want, they hope that that secret comes out and it will not create or instill more pain between the two of you. They also fear that it will. They fear that if they come forward and they share with you, because some of this is secret, is that they actually love you. That they did want a relationship with you, but they didn't know it at the time. Sometimes when we meet somebody, we don't figure it out until it's over, unfortunately. We can go into a whirlwind type relationship and all of a sudden it's just overwhelms us so we break apart. And then while we're apart, we realize, wow, that was a really beautiful relationship I had with that person. We could have grown into something more permanent, more beautiful. So they didn't share this with you. They want to share it with you. Whatever the secret is, it will be different for each person involved. But there is pain attached to it. And they're hoping to let go of this pain. And they fear telling the truth may make you go away forever. That there won't be an opportunity. So I'm not saying they're coming back. They are in a period of contemplation. They're in a period of going within on how they can do this, how they can come back to you or communicate to you whatever the secret was that created this ending. Whether it be not opening up to you or whether it be hiding something that you were not aware of and they withdrew or you withdrew and said, that's it, I'm walking away. But this is currently what is going on with your ex and this is their hopes and fears for the energies at this time. Now what I'd like to do is take a look at what is actually blocking them from moving forward in a relationship. Maybe we can capture what's deep inside of them preventing them from wanting to move forward in this. Right now they're in contemplation. Do I, don't I? I don't know, I need to go within. And if you'd like to click the link below, that will shoot you over to Vimeo. And we'll also look at what the advice and outcome is for your ex-partner from the universe, how they want to advise, and they're going to tell us the outcome of this particular scenario, as well as what we can expect to see in the next uh, one to two week time frame. So if you click the link below, I will see you on the other side.